Hello everybody, it's Joe here and welcome back to another episode of Planet Zoo. Today we're back on Ardwick Junction where the weather is absolutely miserable. I'm really surprised that not more people have brollies up to be honest with you. We've got a couple there. Uh, you can buy them at the information kiosk I think if it's anything like uh, Planet Coaster. Uh, adoption part. Blue umbrellas. Yeah, there you go. You can buy umbrellas. So, you know, get yourself buying some umbrellas, please, folks. You know, there's there's some there. What I might need to do as well is get our... Uh, who is it that's in there? Is it Alvin Shook? That looks more like a lady than an Alvin. Who are you? Oh, no, this is this is Janice. Oh, no, it's not Janice Castro. It's Angelina... Angelique? Angeliki? Angelica? I'm not sure. It's uh, Ms. Loomis. There you go, Ms. Loomis. We've unlocked a bit of vet research. Since we last saw each other, the common ostrich uh, is probably livid that it's raining, I'd imagine. Uh, ostriches and rain? Do ostriches like rain? I would not imagine they do. Although that one doesn't seem particularly bothered. No, oh, look at the little ostrich chicks. I love the fact that they've got chicks. Oh, hang on, he's about to inbreed. I mean, obviously for humans, I know that's an issue. Is that an issue on Planet Zoo? Are we going to have, like, a sable antelope with eight heads and three legs? A bit like a tripod, wouldn't it? Um, right, what we are going to do is we're going to set you, Denver Woody, to not research that. You're going to research gift shops. Souvenir shops. Thanks to our, uh, our wonderful, wonderful viewers. It was suggested a gift shop might be, uh, might be the way to go. Uh, of sorts. So what we will do is we'll put... I mean, I do have some gift shops already. I think I've got the balloon shop. And I don't think I've put the balloon shop in, have I? So we'll uh, we'll put the balloon shop in. Uh, say somewhere, guest shop. Toilet, zoo entrance. No, 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 no. Merchandise. That's the one. Looney Blooms is two grand. Why is it so much? I'm going to put Looney Bloons next to the ostriches. That is the perfect place for a balloon shop. And I'm thinking that we'll have like a merchandise shop near the exit here. And then we'll have uh, Looney Bloons over here. Should we speed it up a little bit? Get a generate a bit of, uh, a bit of cash. Oh, it seems like the rain has stopped. Excellent. Oh, well, we're preparing for another successful day in the zoo. Come on, we're nearly at two grand. Let's just let's just get that last little bit. We're sort of fluctuating, aren't we, around the two grand mark? There we go. Let's let's get you in there. Hang on, we need to edit the shop. Silly bobs. There we go. Get a loony balloon. Oh, hang on. Terrain modification failed. Oh, that's marginally annoying. Right, I'll tell you what we'll do. We'll, we'll just move it a little bit further back. Maybe it's too close to the path. That might be the reason. Right, come on. Let's get a balloon shop in. Why is the terrain modification failing? Right, okay. We'll, uh, we'll, we'll move you to the right then. We'll move you there. Seeing as you're not happy being the other place. Right, we'll move you as a whole now and try and. Oh, yeah, let's let's. Why won't you go there? Okay, that's brilliant. It's really nice, but at the same time, where's the path? Where's the path? They're like, oh, balloon shop. Oh, there we go. Right, we've got the path. We got there in the end. Right, okay. Staff. Have we got a new member of staff? Yes, we have. You can uh, you can have a bit of training. Effect research complete. Are we? Uh, oh, we, we've ostriched the heck out of that. That's good. Right, well, I'll tell you what. While nothing, while we haven't got anything, let's just research a bit of avian influenza. Not because we want some avian influenza, but obviously it's good to research. Where's our member of staff? Is that you? Head into Looney Blooms. If you could just head there a little bit quicker, please. You know, we've, we've got balloons to sell. High amounts of litter, that's not good. But we have lots of bins. Have we, are the janitors not... Uh, are they not coping? 
I said janitors, that's very Planet Coaster, isn't it? What are you doing at the moment? I think he was... Oh, he's cleaning. Maybe we need another caretaker. We can't have another caretaker because uh, Joe is very much struggling for money right now. Come on, let's get some balloons. You see, as soon as one person's come to the uh, and get a balloon, and everyone else can see them walking with balloons, it's brilliant. Come on, everybody to the balloon shop. Let's make some money. Look at that. The profit is rolling through the door. That's good. Tell you what we will do. We'll uh, we'll hire another uh, another caretaker. There we go. Come on, get sweeping. There we go. I mean, this chap's already five star, isn't he? So you know that's good. Get the security guard to be better. The keepers, we need them to be good as well, don't we? Because obviously, uh, then our animals will be very looked after. Vet research, avian influenza, lovely. Well, it's not lovely, is it? But uh, you know what I mean. You know what I'm getting at here. Can we uh, can we train the other chap up now? Nope, not yet. I like my staff to be very well trained. In all the parks that I've done so far, I've, I've made training staff a priority. Oh, the inspector's arrived in the zoo. Don't panic, everybody. Don't panic. Where's the inspector? There she is. Edna Mode. She's, uh, she's en route to Habitat 1 and Habitat 2. So obviously she doesn't look at these little things here. But mechanic research is complete. What have we unlocked? Uh, right, okie dokie. The silly bobs. Is it a hat's fantastic? No, it's just a memento. Well, what we'll do is we'll stick you there. Because we'll stick hat's fantastic in the same shop. It's not insufficient funds. It is insufficient funds. Come on, donate towards the animal welfare so I can put a gift shop in. There we go. That is what all your little donations have paid for, people. Now, round here we could do with making something look a little bit nicer, couldn't we? Because it... I mean, don't get me wrong, I think the zoo that we've got is really, really nice. But at the same time, it's not very well decorated, is it? Come on, let's, let's get by. Let's get by in these things. We'll train you up as well. There we go. Look at that. Right, the antelope is about to have offspring, which is excellent, but it is inbred. So, you know, I, I don't know if we're meant to be excited at this point. Have we got any, like, nice topiary? That looks topiary-esque. Oh, no, that's a big cypress tree. That's not topiary. Because what we could do is we could make that just look a little bit nice. Put some flowers round. Obviously, I'm scrolling through very quickly here. Let's try in the search bar. Search bar? Hmm, right. Okay. Uh, right. Does it want, like, a long bush? Bramble brush? Bramble brush? Flipping neck. Uh, the cat's beat today, I tell you. What is this? This is nice, but I don't really think this is what I'm looking for. Well, the cowberry bush is nice. Again, I want something a bit more green and leafy. No, not quite. Let's put a bit of that in. And then what we'll do is we'll nick these flowers. Let's put them down there like that. Lovely. Just stick you in there. Oh no, hang on, we've run out of money. It's very much a repeating asset, isn't it? I always say that I don't like repeating assets, but they do look really good over there, don't they? This is where I fall down, really, with the decorating. Come on! There we go. Couldn't even afford some flipping flowers. What about a nice sort of rock, bush, something? Oh no, that's a bit big. 
doesn't really fit, does it? Yeah, again, no. <laughs> it's it's not really fitting. God, I'm so t oh, that is a, a tad on the large side, but you know, thanks for coming and uh, and and trying out for the position. Again, cactus. Mm, I don't know. Oh, I like these. These are nice. Again, they don't really fit, but I used to like putting those on uh, the scaviola, or however you say it. There we go. We'll have a, a, a piece of grass. It's com from completely the wrong continent, so it doesn't really fit in at all. But it's fine. It's fine. It's fine. Right, we've unlocked more souvenir shops. That's good. We can get hats. Fantastic. Right, we've researched the influenza, so that's brilliant. Still don't really get how we increase the education rating. I also forgot to say it was Francesca that put the idea in my head about uh, gift shops. And what a fantastic idea it was, Francesca. That's fantastic. We need two grand. Come on, let's let's get two grand. How are our staff doing? Can we train more of them? I want them to be faster at selling. I mean, to be fair, the, the money, we're, we're not doing bad money-wise, are we? We seem to be generating it quicker. What are we actually selling in there? It'll be a lot of a rubbish, won't it? Heck, t-shirt, £15. Goodly toy, £15, goodness me. Yeah, we, we keep getting the old alert that the zoo is low on cash. <laughs> it's good, that one, isn't it? Uh, right, hat's fantastic, in you go. But they don't sing like they used to. Used to get the little hats, fantastic. Sorry, that, that was very flat, wasn't it? I, I, I don't sing. I don't make a habit of it anyway. There we go. We'll train the security guard to be awesome. Look at that. Come on, hats, everybody. Get them on. Oh, look how stylish you look there. That is brilliant. <laughs> brilliant. Oh, dear. I think we've actually, you know, this this like little plaza area looks really, really good. To be honest with you, I want more animals for obvious reasons. What have we actually got in the uh, in the shop? We've got Arctic wolves. They would be good, but they strike me as sort of needing a chilly sort of environment. You know, I, I, I don't know what it is. Whether it's Arctic wolves, maybe. Um, do you know what? I think we'll have ourselves some Arctic wolves. Go on, get them both. And then what we'll do is we'll just nip to the trade centre, the animal storage, and we'll send them to the quarantine. There we go, so at least they're done. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to put the path... Ooh, not the length. Keep that at 8 metres. Is it 8 metres that we're going for? Yeah, an 8 metre wide path. I reckon about here. You reckon that this is an ideal place for Arctic wolves? I'm I'm feeling it. What uh, what do Arctic wolves are, are they like shy of humans? Are they not? Let's have a look. Oh, isn't he pretty? So fluffy. So we need a grade two fence. That's at least one point two five. Okie dokie. Where have we got the the relationship with humans? Confident. Right. Okay. And the guests can't enter the habitat for obvious reasons. Uh, right, okie dokie, so, 1.25, and a resistance grate, 2. How tall is it? It'll be 2 metres, won't it? Right, we'll, we'll pop that down to 10 metres. What we will do, however, is we'll get rid of that, lovely. Stick you up to 20 metres. And then bob that down to 10. That should actually make a nice square habitat, shouldn't it? Come on, pop on there. No. Nope. How about 10 metres? 10 metres, there we go. 
You managed it there, so obviously it's not square, is it? That's a, it's not the worst square I've ever seen, but obviously it's not square enough. Right, let's have a glass habitat gate, because I do like the glass habitat gates on the front there. Quarantine passed, ready to leave. Both of them. Right, okay. Let's stick you in there. Uh, nature. No, not nature. Habitat. We need to actually get you to... Uh, oh, no, not the American bison. The Arctic wolf. So this could probably be the colder area. We've got the deserty area over here. I said the deserty area. The, the sort of African species area. This could be a chillier area. Uh, so, Arctic Wolf, food and water. So we need a food tray. We'll put the food tray there. We'll put the water over there. So that everyone can see. Right, enrichment. Toys. Rubber duck. Put a ball over there. Yeah, we'll just sort of put one of each around. People are going to complain, aren't they, that they can't see enough. They can't really see them from where they are. I mean, that's fine. Can these things get out? I don't know if they can. I don't know if they can climb the fence. So what we'll do is we'll, we'll stick you like that. And then go... Uh, is it in there? There we go. So it's non-climbable. Just for extra safety and security. Now then, you two. Habitat and enrichment. Okay, so the hard shelter we are lacking in. Yeah. Uh, well, it won't be under facilities, will it? Yes, sausage. Beds and shelters. Let's have a, a wooden shelter. There we go. We'll stick you, stick you right up to the barriers. And then terrain. We, we've got too much long grass. Okay. We need a little bit more short grass. And it'll be playing now that there's, you know, that there's... Uh, Right, what else do we need? A bit of soil. We'll have the soil around the water there. I feel like that would be where the soil would be. What else do we need? A bit of rock. Have some rock down in this corner. Lovely. What it kind of meeting in the middle there. Get rid of all that nasty long grass. Lovely. Right, okay, that's good. Plants is acceptable. They've got adequate plants. Do they not need more plants? Enrichment, we don't have enough of, but that's fine. Many guests think the tickets are underpriced. Right, well, we'll... Uh, you can actually start researching the wolf now, because we've researched a lot of disease. We'll research some barriers. Keep researching those barriers. Could actually research some pre made habitats as well, that'd be good. Right, they think the tickets are underpriced, so let's go with uh, £10 and £5. There we go, the prices have shot up. In fact, they've doubled for adults. I mean, that habitat is terrible. Are, are you honestly meaning to tell me you're happy? No. The temperature. Mmm, there we go. I thought the temperature wouldn't be good. Right, what we'll do? What temperature do you need to be? Uh, I don't know. Minus 12 to minus 16. Or is that minus 12 to 16? I think that's minus 12 to 16, isn't it? Staff member has quit. What? Why? No. Rehire him. You never told me you were unhappy, to be fair. I think I've had a few staff members quit, haven't I? <laughs> right, there we go. If I put you on the same salary... Then we won't be able to afford... The zoo will fall apart. One, two, three, four, five. Yeah, we've already lost one staff member. I need a spare. Hang on, where are we? Vendor. Pop a new one in. That's annoying. I can't believe it's... Yes, I know, I know, I know. Right, trust me, I'm really trying everything to get uh, to get you cold. <laughs> yes, I know, I know, I know, I know, I know. I'm, I'm on it. I'm on it. Like a car bonnet. 
Uh, I just need to use the heat maps to see where the uh, where the lecky is. Right, we have no lecky here, so they're not going to work, are they? So we'll go back to uh, the silly bobs. Utilities. That's the transformers. Right, we'll stick you there. Lovely. And then what we will do is put the uh, put the temperature habitat coolers. There we go. Look at that. Right, cooler, cooler, cooler. That should work. Let's have a look at the heat map. Ah, it is quite literally a heat map as well, isn't it? A heat map of a heat map. I mean, he's still going to moan, isn't he, these wolves? Because you can guarantee that we've got all this nice, cool habitat and they're going to go and sit here and then moan that they're hot. You can almost guarantee, can't you? Right. Stop moaning now. Yeah, so we need enrichment, obviously. We need food enrichment. Have we unlocked food enrichment? No, we haven't. Right, okay. Power source inaccessible. That is very true. Well, what we'll do is we'll have that path right up here. There we go. Because we want to keep that away from the people. Come on then, yeah, there, lovely. So you happy? Yeah, we seem to be happy. That's good, right, okay, so nature, not nature, uh, facilities. I want to be able to tell people what these are. These are Arctic wolves. So we'll pop a uh, board there. In fact, do you know what we will do? Edit the barrier, yeah, I want to move you. Can I not move him? No. Nope. So what we'll do is we'll pop the, pop the glass habitat gate there. Can I add multiple? I'm, I'm trying to move that one. Dangerous animal has not escaped. It hasn't escaped. It's there. Barriers, there we go. Right, stick you on there. Much better. Because there's a path there. There we go. Get rid of the path. What's she uh, what's she chatting? She's not gone to the new habitat yet, but then again. She it says habitat removed. I've have done nothing of the sort. You can see they're already there. Go and inspect it, and then we'll get a good rating, hopefully. Right, stick you there. We'll stick you there, and we'll, we'll pop a little speaker as well to educate everybody about arctic wolves. They're probably going to moan that they can't see them. That'll do. And then what have we got there? Arctic wolves. Again, if I put that up to 12... Some recycling bins, regular bins, regular bin. There's my recycling bin. There we go. I mean, I don't know if they'll use them. But we've got them, just in case. I need the uh, the donation pot. There we go. Just keep those, uh, keep those donation pots flowing. Now, can I actually repair some of this loan? Because the second we repair the loan... We've done it. That'll be why, all of a sudden, we've got money to play with. Right, have we unlocked enrichment for this chap? Food enrichment. Because as soon as we get the food enrichment, there we go, dog ball. Are they happy now? I don't know where they've gone. Have they left? Have they moved out? Are they in here? No, they, they quite literally have gone. Another oh, there. <laughs> Thought they were toys. Right, so yeah, food enrichment 50%. That's good. 
these people have been moaning down here. I can't see it. Yeah. Can't even tell if it's not it wolf from here. Well, uh, do you know what? Put another path in then. Ah, yeah. Oh, it is an arctic wolf. Yeah. I was just not looking properly. That's not good enough. It's not close enough to the uh, to the old perimeter there. That's not going to work, is it? That's better. Right, duplicate that. I hear a chicken. And like there's a rooster present. Yeah, the click spots on this can sometimes be a little bit uh, difficult to use. Go on, there you go. Right, tell you what, we'll, we'll select them, move them to there. And then we could actually duplicate it, couldn't we? Duplicate? Yeah. That's actually a good one to add there, because, you know... Ah, oh, you can see them in their bed. How cute. How sweet. Right, what do we need? So, the animal storage. Good lord, there's a lot, isn't there? Right. Can we... We can trade them for five grand. Lovely. Get rid of all them. Get rid. Doesn't it sound awful? What have we got over here? Have we got anybody that's mature that we can sell? No? Yes, maybe. Are you... Oh, are you. You're... Oh, you're a young adult. And you're about to mature as well. So we, we could look at sorting out the sable antelopes. I mean, to be fair, how many do you need in a pack? Because if we can keep you... Seems happy enough. Social-wise, herd members. They, they have members of the herd. You can have lots of them, so we may as well have lots of them and then... You know, there's no point getting rid, is there? Yep. Yeah, there's no point getting rid of them if they're all living happily together. May as well keep them. Adds to the, uh, the, the kind of aesthetic of the zoo. Oh, hang on, we've got more ostriches. Where have these all come from? Did I buy four? Oh, right, we need food enrichment. Right, okay. Species common ostrich, isn't it? Uh, food enrichment, there we go. Couple of feeders. Bob another forage box in, because why not? Oh no, the death adder has died! Oh no, right, there's, there's no death adders in here anymore. Mechanical research. Lovely. Right, let's, yeah, let's, let's just, where's the common death adder? Uh, yes, you are a good death adder. As are you. Yeah, we'll keep you. And we'll put you both in there. There we go. Lovely. Common death adder. Go on, in you go. How many have we got in here? Let's just double check. Who have we got? Where are the residents? Oh, we've got enough green iguanas. We've got enough boas. And we've got enough... Enough of those. That's good. Right, okay, well that is all absolutely fantastic. I'm really, really pleased with that. We've got new wolves in. I think we maybe need to make some snow. Just to, you know, sort of... They don't seem that bothered about snow, though, do they? You know, to say it's an arctic wolf. We need some sort of plants, because it's just looking bare. So we're going to do that next time. Thank you so much for watching. If you have enjoyed today's video, please do show your appreciation by clicking that like button. Please also consider subscribing if you haven't already, if you're enjoying the series and you want to keep up with any future escapades regarding Planet Zoo. And other than that, as I say, thanks so much for watching, and hopefully I'll see you all next time. Cheerio! Goodbye for now.